A house is much more than a roof over one's head. It is a place where a person creates and lives out his or her life. This is a quote from Pope John Paul II when he was talking about a person's right to a home. When we talk about housing the homeless as one of the works of mercy, this one it can be really hard to think figure out because there's such a crisis. And a lot of it comes to what do we do when we see the homeless? And what do we think of? Do we think of the person on the side of the road who we just avert our eyes whenever we see them? What do we do when we think of the homeless? Is it a family who's in a, living out of their car, trying to go to school, trying to work, but just can't get enough money to provide a house for themselves? What is it that we do? The discussion of housing the homeless is a major discussion that the church has had for a long time and how we go about doing that. For us, it's best to think about what can we do individually? What are some things we can do to help those who are homeless? Because if not, it feels too big of a subject. First, the first and foremost thing that we can always do is recognize the dignity of all mankind. So that way we can try to help them as individuals, not to lump them together as one group of people, one group of homeless people and say, well, they have problems. Instead, let's look at each person with dignity. The church has traditionally viewed housing not as a commodity, but as a basic human right. It is grounded in the protection of the person. It is grounded in taking care of each and every individual. Does it mean giant homes? No, but it does mean that we should be doing everything we can to provide homes for people, to help those who are homeless. I know at Corpus Christi, we have a great group called Family Promise that we help minister to twice a year. But there's many other ways that we can go and, and help. As individuals, when we see the homeless, no longer avert your eyes. See what you can do to help. No longer blame it on what the person may have done to put themselves in that situation. Because sometimes it's nothing of their own fault. We don't worry about that. We don't worry about what the person may or may not have done or been. We do what we can to serve that person in that moment. Let us pray in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Lord, we pray for the homeless population. We pray that they can find affordable housing, that they can find a place that they can call their own. We also pray for a changing of our own hearts so that we no longer dehumanize the homeless, that we can see the humanity in each and every person that we run into. And we ask for your mother's intercession as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen.